In Module 8, Controlling Risk, there is one section on the calculation of credit exposure, which you can find on page 565. And for different in financial instruments, it will have different credit exposures. Now, the three instruments that is covered in the syllabus is cash investment, interest rate swaps, cross-currency interest rate swaps, or FECs. And of course, uh, under interest rate swap, we have two types. One is swaps with a settlement date less than or equal to one year, which uh, is also for interest rate forward contracts or what we call FRA, forward rate agreements. Now, uh, let's start with the first one, uh, cash investment. So anything between one day to six months, okay, the calculation base or the exposure will be the principal amount plus the interest, or we can take the face value of the security as the exposure. For interest rate swaps with less than one year to settlement, we will take the current valuation plus the notional principal times 5% times number of days of maturity over 365. Now, at the inception, of course, uh, for derivatives, the current value is always zero at inception. Now, uh, for swaps with a settlement date that is greater than one year, you will take the current valuation plus an incremental increase of 5% per year. So remember initially for the first year, we took 5% times days of maturity over 365. Then if it goes on for another another year, then you add one uh, 5%. So for example, if it's a swap with a two and a half year remaining tenor, then your exposure okay, would be the notional amount times 12.5%, which is 5% times 2.5. So you get 12.5%. And for cross-currency interest rate swaps uh, or FECs with less than one year to settlement, we will take the current valuation plus the notional principal. And for this, we will take 15% in the first year times days of maturity over days per year. And for every subsequent year after that, you will have to add an incremental of 5% per year. So for example, if this swap or FEC has a maturity date of three years, so the first year is 15%, and second year is 5%, third year is 5%. And if you add this up, it will be a total of 25% uh, for the exposure calculation. Now let's look at an example. Number one, let's calculate the credit exposure of a three-month money market with face value of $200,000. So this falls under cash investments. And for that, we'll, the credit exposure is just the amount that is invested which is $200,000. So this is very straightforward. The exposure is a face value, which is $200,000. Now example two, calculate the credit exposure of a nine months interest rate forward with notional of $5 million. So recall that in the first slide, for interest rate forward contract, uh, in, uh, you will take, for the first year, you will take 5% multiplied by the notional amount, 5 million, multiplied by the number of uh, days to maturity over 365 but since this is 9 months you just take 9 over 12 so that comes out to $187,500 now in example 3 let's calculate the credit exposure of a 2 year interest rate swap with notional of $10 million so for, ev for interest rate swaps every incremental year is 5% so we'll take the notional principal 10 million times 5% times 2 years. So we get $1 million as the exposure. For example, for let's calculate the credit exposure of a 2-month FEC with notional of $20 million. So for this, uh, for the first year of uh, FEC, we'll take 15% multiplied by the number of days to maturity over the number of days per year. But here we use 2 over 12 times 15% times $20 million. So that will be about $500,000 US dollars. Then the last example is calculate the credit exposure of a four-year cross-currency interest rate swap with notional $20 million. So for the first year, it's 15% and every incremental year is 5% each. So we'll take $20 million, multiply by 15% for the first year, and then for the remaining three years, it will be 5% each. So that's 15% plus 15%, which is 30% times 20 million. That's $6 million exposure. So that's for 
the calculation of credit exposures for module 8 on controlling risk.